what's going on everyone fast with toy reviews here and today it's a fan mail day that's right we got a whole bunch of letters to get through and a bunch of you wonderful people out there sent me some cool fan mail so the first little letter comes from peyton out of indianapolis this is cool so we have a little card here and it reads on the back permission to open on camera so inside we open it up and what did peyton send us let's see what do we got here it reads, Dear Fast Food Toy Reviews, My friend, your new Inside Out 2 2004, coming soon, June 14th, you, <laughs> you are my favorite. <laughs> Thank you my for my toy. Yes, okay, I had to read this. Oh, this is adorable. Hi, Anxiety. Oh, so look at that, some artwork right there. So there's a picture of Anxiety. <laughs> this is great. So let me try to read this properly. Dear Fast Food Toy Reviews, my friend, your new Inside Out 2 2024 coming soon, June 14th. You are my favorite Thank you for my toy. Got it. <laughs> the worst. I shouldn't. I shouldn't read stuff. I can't read anything. This is wonderful. It's making me chuckle and giggle. And look at. It even look at. It has them up as Kermit and five. Look at. Look at. This is so cool. I have a grin ear to ear right now. I can't talk. I'm just smiling too much. For some reason, this is just is so adorable. I love this. And then the great little artwork there, Peyton. Ah, oh, you're the best. Thank you so much. This next letter comes from Bobby hailing out of Arizona. It says Phoenix, Arizona on there. So we'll just say Arizona. And they put some really cool stickers on here. Awesome. Pizza slice, little rocket ship. Very cool stuff. And if you'd like to send me a letter, you can send it to Fast Food Toy Reviews, P.O. Box 231, Hinsdale, New York, 14743. And then it reads right here, please open on camera. Well, here we are, right? So here's a little letter. There's a little thing that they included. It, it reads... Dear Fast Food Toy Reviews, I have a, what is this, a request for you. Okay, can you do the Tigger movie set from the year 2000 released by McDonald's? Also, the reason why I'm writing, my writing looks like this, that, is because I'm writing on a table with a weird texture. So it's probably like a real wooden grain texture. So it's probably got like little grooves and stuff on it. Yeah, I got a table like that. <laughs> That's awesome. A weird texture. Okay, here we go. I have another question. Do you like Chuck E. Cheese and what's your local location? My my local location? Well, I, I live in western New York, like south of Buffalo, probably an hour south of Buffalo in the mountains. And do I like Jess? I went to Chuck E. Cheese hundreds of times in my life until they just I know there's a few that's still around, but none by me. So I haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese in years. And then I see that you included this little Chuck E. Cheese printout. Look at this. A little picture of a Chuck E. Cheese, which I think is really cool. Thanks for that. Yeah, so Chuck E. Cheese hasn't been around my area in a long, long time. But I used to go all the time when I was younger. All right, let's continue. Here we use, what's your favorite arcade machine? Oh, oh, I would have to say, I think the game I played the most when I went to the arcade would be, I would say, probably Centipede, Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Miss pac Man, that's a tough one. It's a toss-up. I think I think I spent an equal amount of time playing, like, I don't know, Mrs. Pac-Man, uh, regular Pac-Man, and probably Donkey Kong and Centipede. I'm not sure, Galactica? Man, there's a lot. That's tough. I spent a lot of time playing those. I would say probably Miss Pac-Man, if I have to be honest. If I had to only pick one, I would guess it was Miss Pac-Man. I played that a lot because I was really good. Okay, let's see. What, move it on here. Let's see. In this envelope is a picture of my local location, uh, Chandler, Arizona. What's your favorite kind of pizza? Pepperoni and sausage, and then sometimes with extra cheese. <laughs> yes, that's pretty much it. I keep it simple. And what is your favorite kinds of pizza? Mine's Hawaiian style. Ooh, yes, I like some Hawaiian pizza. I hope you enjoyed this letter. I did very much. Thank you, Bobby. And thank you for the cool picture printout thing. And thanks for the great questions. I appreciate it. The next letter comes from Carson. And Carson decorated this nice envelope. So what does it read right here? Tuxedo Sam. And then let's see, there's some Tuxedo Sam stickers there. More Tuxedo Sam's. Oh, guys, it's Tuxedo Sam. What is going on? Nice little stamp there. And then on the back, look at 
another tuxedo Sam. <laughs> this is awesome. I love it when they're all they're all stickered up like this. So inside, here is the letter. Let's open this up and it reads, here we go. Dear Fast Food Toy Reviews, I enjoy writing these letters to you. Hope you have a great Memorial Day. Yes, <laughs> I'm always going to be behind on my letters. I'm just, I'm always going to be behind. So thank you for that. And I hope you had a wonderful Memorial Day as well. What is your favorite animal? Mine is penguins. Well, that's awesome. I love my dogs. I love wolves. I love penguins. <laughs> Does, do, do minions count as animals? I love minions. <laughs> I love both. I love all animals, actually. I love them all. Uh, but I, th if I think I had to pick one. I, I would think my favorite animal, like my dogs. I, I, I would say dogs, probably my favorite. What's your favorite holiday? Mine is the 4th of July because I like to light off fireworks. Yes, 4th of July is probably my favorite, right up there with Christmas. See, between 4th of July and Christmas, oh, man, that's so tough. I would say Christmas and then 4th of July, I have to be honest. I would say Christmas is my favorite because it's just so much so much joy and family and everything, giving and just in... And the 4th of July is more like celebratory, like with the fireworks. So it's like 1A and then 1B. It's like almost a tie, but I give the scooch of an edge to Christmas because, you know, I love family. I love my kids and everything. It's great. So here we go. Can you review these two sets? Uh, Batman, what is it? 1989 McDonald's, uh, Chip and Dale Rescue. Wait, Chicken. Didn't I review that set? Are you sure I didn't review that set? I'll double check. 1986 McDonald Land Airport. Yes, I have that set. I did. I did a members only uh, review on a special McDonald Land Happy Meal from the airport set. So that's kind of cool. Yes, I have. I have that set. There's there's some variations with that. That's a tricky set. That's a good one. That's a great recommendation. What's a read up here? See Carsonian. <laughs> that cracks me up right there. The Republic of Carsonian. Okay. And then Alamar, and there's some artwork down here. Tuxedo Sam E.T. Oh, look at that. It's E.T. And then we have Wally and Mr. Potato Head. That's pretty good, actually. Some good artwork. And King Dee Dee. And what is this one here? What is that? What is that one right there? I, I'm not sure. And then I'm not sure what those are. And this is Mr. Shmee. <laughs> this is cool. Anything on the back? Yeah, tell me, like, who, who are, I can't read that writing right there. What is that? King Dee Dee and then C Catakiller, right? Is that right? Catakiller and Caropa? <laughs> I think I got it right. Anyway, another awesome letter. Look at you, we got Donald Dunk over here. And Yosemite Sam, yes. Thank you very much, Carson. Another wonderful letter. You're, you're awesome. Thank you so much. The next letter comes from Timothy Moriarty, hailing out of South Carolina. And... Let's see here. So the letter reads, My letter to Fast Tutorial Reviews, Timothy James Moriarty, 52224. Dear Fast Tutorial Reviews, you have done a great job doing toy reviews. Even other toys from play sets and fast food restaurants. You already know who Bernie Mac is, and you have seen his TV show. Do you know who Billy Mays is? Yes, I know who Billy... Everybody asks me, do I know who Billy Mays is? And, of course, everybody somehow relates me to Billy Mays. I know. Sham wow, all that stuff. I know who Billy Mays is. He is the guy who sells OxyClean and other products. And he passed away and died in 2009. I saw him on TV when Shrek was on TBS... When he told us about the samurai shark. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, Billy Mays is a classic. If you want to stay in touch with me, my contact... Okay, so he put his contact... You put your contact... Don't do that, right? It's going to be hard for me to read letters if you put your personal info in the letter. And then I want... And then you ask me to show it on camera. I can't... I'm not going to show personal information like that. So I X'd it out. Uh, I am going to send you my Frozone toy from McDonald's for you. Okay. I am still your biggest fan. Have you seen Lazy Town? I recall Lazy Town, but it's been a long time. That's that's really, you know, kind of, that's back in the day a little bit. My babysitter's name is Jamie Volra. <laughs> okay. And her cousin's name is CG. I think that's how it's CG. 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 I think that's how I pronounced it. During summer 2012, my brother and I went to her apartment and Jamie took us to CG, took us to take CG to work. One of the camp counselors named Orlando does not have a YouTube account. <laughs> okay, awesome. That's great. Your fan, TJM Reviews 2. Well, this is a cool letter, actually. Yeah, but just don't put your personal information on here. I'm going to have to black it out, and then I won't be able to... It'll be harder for me to show your letter. So don't include any personal information. And I'm not asking... I don't need anybody's phone number. I don't need any of that stuff. 
it's fine. You don't have to include any of that stuff, but you can send me whatever you want. People are just, people have sent me all kinds of stuff. Um, so if you want to send me your Frozo, that's great. And eventually I'll, uh, I'll get a, I'll try to do a video on it. And let's see. And yes, and the whole Billy Mays thing, it cracks me up because somehow people think that I sound like Billy or act like Billy Mays or something. I'm not sure, but another great letter from Timothy. Thank you, buddy. The next two letters are from Maurice Smith Jr. Long time fan of ours maurice thanks again for the two letters so he sent two different letters and we got a couple right here and look at this folding job i, I gotta tell you the the quality and skill <laughs> to fold that up look at that it's like origami with extra <laughs> that's great good job maurice anyway let's read the letter here we go dear fast food toy reviews how's it going remember that scene in R ralph breaks the internet where all of the princesses were there there was Belle, Jasmine, Elsa, Anna, Ariel, uh, Cinderella, Snow White, Rapunzel, Pocahontas, uh, Mulan, and those last two aren't even princesses. Really? I thought Mulan's not a princess? Wait a minute. Wait. Now you're making me think. Don't make me think. <laughs> I'm not trying to think. What are you doing? I guess maybe you're right. Look at that. Wow, I, had, I didn't even think about that. I just assumed they were just all princesses. Prince, uh, he says, aren't even princesses or members of royalty. On the back, you'll find my top 10 favorite Disney villains. Do you remember Han's evil intention in Frozen? Oh, I can't remember. It's been so long since I watched the Frozen movies. Oh, my goodness. Don't ask me questions like that. Come on. <laughs> That's so silly. I can't remember. And I've watched those a few times, but it's been years, so you have to forgive me. Have you seen The Black Cauldron? See, again, it's another... <laughs> Sounds familiar. I just can't recall. I'm terrible. I'm the worst. I know. I'm terrible. Do you remember what Brave is about? Yes, I remember watching Brave years ago. I, I vaguely remember. It's been years since I watched Brave. But I can picture, because I bought my kids, my daughter liked Brave like 10 years ago. And I bought her from Toys R Us. I bought her a little bow and arrow. It had like the arrow had like a suction cups on the end of it. It was like a Brave bow and arrow play set. <laughs> I can't remember, though. Maybe you can remind me. Maybe you can leave a comment and tell me all about it. Or send me another letter and tell me all about it. I'm sorry. I just can't remember. Here we go. It says here, what's your favorite Friends episode? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, wow. I love Friends. Man, it's been a while since I watched an episode. Uh, let's see. I used to watch it all the time. Oh, I, I would say, I think one of my favorite episodes that comes to mind. I'll just go with what first popped in my head. So there's an episode where... Rachel and Ross had split up and Rachel starts dating another guy that's like eerily similar to Ross and they're almost like exactly the same person but he looks a little different it's like a clone almost of Ross and then Ro Ross gets all upset and it's just I don't know that's a really good episode then the one with the couch of course famously known for you know pivot pivot you know the, the one where they're trying to get the couch up the stairs oh that's one of my favorites too uh but I think the one with the 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 duplicate Ross when Rachel starts dating that the weird version of Ross. <laughs> I think that's probably my favorite episode. That's a good question. What's your favorite episode? Okay, let's see. If you've seen The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Judge Frodo was truly evil in that movie at the start. He killed somebody. Da, 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 da. He killed a woman in front of a church and then almost killed her just because of it looked something. I'm having a hard time reading here. He then looked him up in Notre Dame, telling him he could never leave under any circumstances. He tries to capture and execute and of... I'm having a hard time reading your writing, buddy. Gypsies, something to Emerald, Emeralda, Esmeralda at the... St <laughs> I'm having a hard time deciphering your writing, man. Uh, the stake, and that's he's the number one Disney villain of all time. Okay, <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. So, here's your top 10 list Hades, Hercules. So, you go from 10 to 1. So, let's see if I can read this Ursula, the Little Mermaid, Radigan, the Great Mouse Detective, Gaston, Beauty and the Beast, Scar, the Lion King, King. Lion King, uh, Wreck-It Ralph, li uh, Long Candy. Hold on. <laughs> I'm having a hard time reading here. Shere Khan, The Jungle Book. And The Emperor's New Groove is... Uh, 
What is this? Isma? Or Crank? <laughs> I can't read. I can't read. Maleficent, Sleeping Beauty, Judge Frollo, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Okay, speaking of Beauty and the Beast, I got. I pulled this set out uh, that I'm going to be doing a video on. See this? Look at this guy. Look at that. I got this set off to the side. I'm going to be doing a video on that set. It's very cool. Okay, so let's let's jump to your next letter. So here's the other letter Marie sent us. Dear Fast Food Toy Reviews, how are things going? I never told you before, but I missed you on those days. You weren't making videos. Where were you at at the time? Oh, well, I was raising my kids. I just started running out of time. And, you know, between working and then running with my two kids and soccer and basketball, volleyball, cheerleading, wrestling, all the gymnastics, karate practice, like there was just everything, bowling and archery. There, it's like It seemed like it was just never ending for a few years. And then I was coaching soccer too. So I just got so busy. Like it was nonstop all the time. And when you're a single dad, like I'm a single dad, I raised my two kids. And you're just constantly going, 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 going. And so by the, most of, the, almost every single day, by the time I got home, it was like eight, nine o'clock and I was exhausted and I had to get up crack of dawn the next morning. And you know, it's just life. And I just, and shooting videos and stuff takes a lot of time. It takes two, three hours to sit down and shoot some videos and edit and everything. So you're talking just to shoot two or three videos, you're talking three or four hours. And I just didn't have time for it anymore. Plus you got to keep track of everything and store everything and package everything away and keep track. And it was just, I just didn't have time for a while. And so I took a break. I had to walk away. I had to choose my family. My kids came first. But here we are. So that's a good question. And a lot of people have asked that. But I don't have a problem answering that again. But now you know, right? <laughs> so who's your favorite Sesame Street Muppet? Oh, that's really easy. All of them. <laughs> I think Sesame Street. Big Bird's probably my favorite. I had a lot of stuff when I was a kid. I had a lot of Big Bird stuff. Maybe Cookie Monster. Yeah. I don't know. All of them. I love them all, actually. Part of my childhood. One of my letters I said I said is wished I had Elsa and Anna as sisters because they're so amazing together. They have an amazing sisterly bond like Lilo and Nani from Lilo and Stitch. And the princess at number the princess at number two was Tiana from the Princess and the Frog. Do you like Bambi and Old Yeller? Yes. It's before my time, but I still grew up with that stuff. I actually have a vintage Bambi lunchbox somewhere that I had in my collection that I remember that I had that when I was a kid that was from one of my uncles. So Bambi's been around a long time, and Old Yeller's been a long That's way before my time. I wasn't even alive when those. <laughs> but, yes, I love Bambi and Old Yeller. Have you seen the little, little, what did that say? The little, little match? Something girl to on back you'll find great cartoon characters. Maurice Smith Jr. The little what is it? The little something girl two. I don't know what that reads right there. The little match girl? I'm not sure what that reads. Little girl something? Sorry, buddy, you're gonna have to clarify for me. And then on the back you have a hand drawn picture of Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yes, I remember Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Very really cool. That's a cool cartoon. That's one of my favorite cartoons from back in the day. Anyway, thanks again, Maurice. Awesome letters. And again, I'm sorry I have a hard time reading some of your stuff. Uh, maybe, maybe just, you know, take your time a little bit. Just a little, little, you know, a little slower when you're writing and stuff. Take your time, maybe. But I appreciate it. I love your letters. You always have great questions. I love answering your questions. And uh, like I said, I, I do apologize again for not being able to decipher some of this, but I do my best. Thanks, buddy. The last two letters come from Maxwell Smith. And in, again, if you'd like to send me a letter, you can send it to Fast Food Tour Reviews, P.O. Box 231, Hinsdale, New York, 14743. Okay, so here is the other letter, and let's see what's going on here. So we got a bunch of artwork and some cool stuff. So let's take a look at this first page from Maxwell, and it looks like we got some Shrek going on. It looks like Shrek the Third. Here we go. Let's give you an up-close look. So you took the time to do this little flip books. Look at this. This is so cool. Look at it. So we got Fiona, Princess Fiona, then we got, like, I don't know. So we got Ogre Princess Fiona, we got regular human Fiona, and then we got, like, Battle <laughs> Warrior Fiona. This is cool. There's Donkey, 
Puss in Boots, and then Puss in Boots ate one too many sandwiches right there. And then we have Gingy and Warrior Gingy. And let's see, we got Pinocchio, Three Little Pigs, Big Bad Wolf, and Three Blind Mice. All the different characters. Look at all the different characters here. This is cool. So it must take you some time to really make these. Thank you. I appreciate this. This is cool. And look at this. Then we got the little ogre babies. You open this here, and then now we have... <laughs> okay. Look at this. They're just... They're picking their nose and stuff. Look at it. They're all dressed up. That's cute. And let's see who we got. Rumble Silskin, Brogan, Cookie. Look at all this. And then on the side here, we got Rumble Skillson's witch Witches, and Meet the Princess, Fiona's Friends, and Dragon. Anything on the back? All right, what's the next one here? We're going to take a look at this one here. And then this one we have. What do we have here? Madagascar, right? Alex the Lion. Let's flip it. Look at little baby. And look at this. Look at the little, little babies. Look at it reads Marty the Zebra. And Melman, <laughs> I love Melman. Okay, here we go. Little baby Melman. And then Gloria, let's see, we'll flip this. Look at that, it's adorable. <laughs> this is making me laugh, I love it. All the different characters here. Oh, we got the penguins, let's flip the penguins. We gotta flip, we gotta flip them all. Look at the little baby penguins. Oh, I love penguins, they're the best. And then all the other characters here, this is great. Oh, more flips. Dave the octopus, we gotta flip that. Oh, sticking. There we go, look at that. Let's give you an up close look at that. Dr. Octavius Brine. Look at this. This is good. Okay. Oh, we got another flipper. Let's flip this big one. Look at this. It's a big one. It says, Agent Classified, Short Fuse, Corporal, and Eva. Flip here. Meet the North Wind. Let's flip here. Oh, there we go. And look at that. This is cool. <laughs> and then it says, look at back. Look at the back. Okay. Oh, here we go. Dear Fast Tutorial Reviews, I fixed the problem with the tape. I call it Velcro tape. <laughs> yes, it works. It worked. It was making me nervous when I was trying to pull it open. The newest invention, the newest invention ever in the world, sincerely Max, aka Cakey the Make Cakey the Cake Monster. <laughs> Cakey the Cake Monster. Oh, Velcro tape. That's so cool. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's good. That's actually smart. That's that's really intelligent, actually. Oh, that put a smile on my face. Cakey. Wait, wait, let me read that again. Wait, what does it say? AKA Cakey the Cake Monster. Okay, Cakey the Cake Monster. Oh, that'll be in my head all day now. Okay, here we go. And then we have another one with the flip stuff. Okay, here we go. No, no flips on this one. So this is Kung Fu Panda. So all the different characters from Kung Fu Panda. Oh, this is good stuff. Oh, good stuff. I love it. So Kung Fu Panda is a win. Anything Kung Fu Panda, I love all these. Madagascar, penguins, I love them all. And then there was this other thing here. Let's see what do we got here. Oh, good stuff. And then we have Bubble Bass. Look at this guy. This <laughs> is SpongeBob, right? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's great artwork. Very good. Very well done. I appreciate this. It's great. You did good, man. I love it. And the other letter has all kinds of stuff in it, so let's let's go ahead and open this all up and see what was sent to us here. Let's see, what do we got here? So we got some more SpongeBob. So there's there's Sandy in her bikini, and then okay, so it's just a picture of Sandy Cheeks, right? Sandy the squirrel. The artwork is impeccable. I I wish I had half that talent. I can't I can't draw worth beans. Okay, and then we have what do we have here? I love this stuff. Just so you guys know, I save all this. I have I have everything. I keep everything. I love it. I keep them. It's, it's sentimental to me. Cheesy Dibbles, Cheesy Crunch, as seen on the 2014 Penguins of Madagascar. That's right. I vaguely remember this. It's Cheesy Dibbles, Cheesy Crunchy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's very well done. Anything on the back? Nothing on the back. And then we have another, some more artwork, I think. I believe there's more artwork here. Let's open it up and find out what do we got here. Oh, what do we got? We got Bing Bong. <laughs> Bing Bong. Look at that. Wow, quite the talent you have. Your your art is exceptionally well done. I will say that. Look at this. That's that's nice. Wow. I wish I could draw like that. I, I just, man, I'm so jealous. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do we got here? We got Danny Phantom. Yes, look at Danny Phantom is in the house. We got Danny Phantom, Sam Mason, and Tucker Foley. Look at that artwork, everyone. Wow, very well done. I just, if I had half this talent, I'd probably be 
I'd probably be a professional comic book writer. Like, you should look into doing, like, art stuff, like, more. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Danny Phantom. And let's see, is this the last one? Oh, yeah, Jimmy and Timmy Power Hour. Look at that. Wow. You must trace this or something. Are you tracing? By Max. Look at that artwork. Look at that. Take a screenshot. There you go. That's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> that's so cool. Let's see, on the back? It's nothing on the back. Wow. So, Maxwell, I got to tell you. You're quite the artist, you, you know, you're very inventive. I really appreciate your letters. You know, this is fantastic stuff. This one here is actually, I really like this one. This one's really cool to me. I, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, it's just nostalgic. <laughs> this is really good, and you even signed it there, that's cool. Well, there you go. Thank you very much, Maxwell. And that's gonna wrap it up, everybody. Thanks for sending me all this wonderful fan mail, Maxwell and Peyton and Maurice and Timothy. And who else do we got here? Uh, Bobby uh, from Phoenix, Arizona. Everybody, you guys are so awesome. Who else do we get? Carson. Everybody, thank you so much for this wonderful fan mail. I appreciate the time you took to write these letters, the beautiful artwork, the awesome questions. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Take care. We'll see you again next time.